I tested the Kestromat 6000 to see if I could unseat the Davis Vantage Pro 2 as the best pro-grade home weather station on the market. The Kestromat 6000 comes equipped with all the basics, temperature, humidity, wind, and rainfall. But Kestrel steps it up with options to add additional sensors, things like soil moisture or solar radiation. This makes it flexible for more specialized needs, such as agriculture or research. Kestrel's weather meters are often used in these fields, so it makes sense. Compare it to the extremely reliable Davis Vantage Pro 2, and the Kestrel Med 6000 holds its own. And with a retail price that starts at $999, that precision and expandability make it a solid yet economical choice for those who need accurate, dependable data every day. Unlike the Vantage Pro 2, fan aspiration is a standard feature and is where the Kestrel Mutt 6000 is better. This keeps air moving around your sensors, resulting in accurate readings even in direct sunlight. Aspirated Vantage Pro 2 start around $1000, so the pricing is about the same. Although I prefer the Kestrel Mutt 6000 for several reasons, which I'll detail throughout the review. Installation was straightforward. Whether it's a rooftop or field setup, the Kestromet is designed to be easy to install, even if this is your first weather station. Since it comes completely assembled, you just need to mount it. Setup is as easy as ambient weather stations, and since the Kestromet 6000 comes pre-charged and pre-calibrated, including the barometer, it's as close to plug-and-play that we've seen other than the Tempest and the Whip Boy. But where the Kestromet pulls ahead is connectivity. It's fully compatible with the smart home, whether it's using your weather data in IFT or asking Alexa for the current conditions. It's convenient, and for those of us that rely on real-time data, it's essential. That's something the Davis Vantage Pro 2 doesn't do well, although there is an Alexa skill. I was impressed with the accuracy of the Kestrel Met 6000. This is as close as you'll get to a professional-grade weather station in a home setup. Temperature, humidity, and wind speed all perform flawlessly. In testing, the Kestrel Met 6000 performed extremely well across all conditions. From rainy days to windy gusts, it delivered precise real-time data without a hitch. It's built to handle diverse weather environments, so no matter where you are, it's reliable. Kestrel didn't stop at the basics. They made it easy to add additional sensors, which can be useful for specialized setups or anyone serious about detailed monitoring. Those sensors we haven't tested, but from what we've heard, they perform well and are worth the extra money if you have a use for them. At nearly $1,000, the Kestrel Med 6000 isn't an impulse buy, but if you're serious about weather tracking, it might be worth a splurge. While it's impressive, you will miss out on some readings offered by similar high-end models, which might matter depending on your needs. For example, the base model 6000 doesn't come with UV or light sensors, as that's a $199 option. However, at $1,200, it's slightly cheaper than a similarly featured Vantage Pro 2 Plus. The Kestrel Med 6000 also comes in a cellular model, which is $300 more expensive. Compare this to Davis's $1,000 cellular gateway, and that's a massive difference. The cheap cellular connectivity, free for 90 days and then $100 a year, makes the Kestrel Med 6000 the best option for challenging or remote installs without a question. I do look at this station as what I would envision a Vantage Pro 3 to be. While I do prefer the Vantage Pro 2's rain bucket design, the Kestrel Med 6000 requires frequent cleaning, not to clog. Everything else about this station feels a step up, and as you add more functionality, it's a much cheaper option. The Kestrel Met 6000 has earned its top spot among the elite weather stations. If you value accuracy and want options per expansion, the 6000 is a solid choice. It's an investment like the Vantage Pro 2, but this station does indeed live up to the hype. If you'd like to know more, check out our full review link below. If you've got any questions or thoughts, Drop them in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more reviews and weather station insights. Thanks for watching. Until next time, as always, stay weatherwise, everyone.